Um, this morning we left one pretty bay and traded it for another, which happened to be right next door. And we are in, I think they call it Captain Hook's Bay on Coke Hood. Apparently there was a, like a Peter Pan film shot at this beach behind us back in like the 1950s or 1960s. And it's gorgeous. Like it looks like it belongs in the South Pacific, just white sand beach, beautiful turquoise waters, sprawling palm trees. So we're gonna hop in the dink and go exploring just a little bit, uh, maybe walk the beach. And then there is a resort, the Captain Hook's Resort right here. And uh, we're here, they have a pool, which I think our swimsuits could use a chlorine rinse. They're getting to that stinky point. So we might uh, go hang out there, just have like a beer or a Coke and just chill for a little bit because I have been stuck behind a computer screen for like the past 24 hours because even in, <laughs> even when you're on vacation, work doesn't end. So definitely ready to get off the boat and have uh, some fun. Well, before we stop at the resort or the beach and just lounge, we're gonna quick take a zip up the river in the dinghy. Uh, we've heard it's a pretty cool place. At night, there's supposed to be fireflies, so we'll see if we can get ourselves out. Uh, don't know if they'd show up on camera, though if we do, try later. And I think we've heard that this is one of the spots you can take your dinghy up halfway, and then another trail, like 15 minutes to a waterfall, so that might be tomorrow's plan. But all in all, this is looking like a kick-ass anchorage. Like, this is paradise. This is just the most perfect spot ever. I have a gorgeous beach right there. Nice restaurant here. There's some really cute bungalows lining the water along here. But I think Matt is in search of something cold to drink. <laughs> and some uh, chlorine to jump into. I think we found the bar. Yeah. Anything you want, dear. <laughs> I can get anything I want. You may. As Obviously. long as it's a Leo. Or a Chang. Or Chang. Well, I would say that we've just found our new favorite hangout spot for the afternoon because the setting here is just so serene and perfect and we've got beautiful views of the boat and the bay and the beaches but unfortunately we are not here in our own boat which means that we have a schedule because there are just too many beautiful places to see around here that we can spend one to two nights in the harbor so we've used up most of the afternoon today already but we've got our beer we've got the harbor and the sun going down and so, a pool. And a pool, yes, I will be in the pool very shortly. So I think we're just going to hang out here until the sun goes down in like an hour or two and then go back to the boat for Thai tacos, which are basically just regular tacos that I made here in Thailand. 
And after our little uh, dinghy trip up the river just now, we might check it out again tonight after sunset, after dinner, to uh, check for fireflies. But I have a feeling that's not gonna come up on camera, so we'll just have to tell you about it tomorrow instead. You can see our reaction. We can reenact our reaction. <laughs> yeah. We'll draw it, we'll make cartoons. Yeah, we'll, we'll draw fireflies. There seem to be a lot of Peter Pan themed resorts on this island. Right now we just moved one more bay down and there's like Peter Pan Resort, Matt's getting the dinghy down, Tinkerbell Resort, Wendy's Resort, and I have been coming! Matt's calling to me. But uh, we're just gonna go to shore, check it out, see if there are any good food places here that we wanna chill for dinner at. Uh, otherwise, just kind of stretch our legs because although we've been loving life back on the boat, um, really haven't been spending much time on land. Check out what's on land. All these Peter Pan resorts. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. <laughs> That's my Tinkerbell. Sure. Okay. And there's a grocery store up the street. There's food stands along somewhere. We're going to wander few minutes. Yep. Uh, sun is going to set quick so just put away the camera and let's go. It's a little toasty out here today isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sun is still high enough that it's burning. Yeah. Well, the good news is we did find a small supermarket, so we're able to at least get one or two of the small things on our grocery shopping list, but definitely not a place you could provision at. Just kind of like a pop into for the most basic of things. So, might pop back there for eggs. But right now, we're just seeing uh, kind of what there is around the island getting a feel for it. Again, we haven't been off the boat much to walk and seeing if there might be a place that we want to have dinner here tonight. So we'll see. But so far it's cute. And that's where all the beautiful people are. Well, it looks like this beach area is great for like laying out and just grabbing a drink, but not so much for wasting a couple hours wandering around. It looks like there's maybe one main street. So I think we're gonna head back to the boat now. Um, probably make some dinner. We've got just enough left to cover two nights and then we'll have to provision again. So yeah, poor Matt couldn't find any shade either. See a dog in the trash right? Aww. So the sun has gone down and for us boat life hasn't changed too much. We're still eating most of our meals on board and we're going Italian tonight. Uh, going to make a like chicken alfredo penny. So right now Matt just chopped up a bunch of garlic which is funny because <laughs> this is the smallest way that we could find to get garlic here. Um, gonna throw in an onion, chop up some chicken and cook up the noodles. So a little different than all like the pad thai and fried rice that we've been having our first week in Thailand, kind of getting used to everything. I'm actually kind of missing it right now, but um, everything smells delicious. So it looks like it's going to be a great dinner and I love being able to sit here and prepare my dinner and right behind me I've got the great views of shore. All of the resorts just usually have these like fantastic lights set up on the beach so I think we actually get a better treat looking at them than them having to look out at us. It's really a bad dress. 
perception out there where you heading why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me i've lost you but i need you and you're off my radar now i've lost you telling you that i need you Finish dinner in time for the tide to change and swing us right beam into the swells. Yeah, current is pushing us unfortunately in the wrong direction. Now I could ring up rig up the bridle a little different, but it's Usually all gonna change. Long, yeah. yeah. It's like 20 minutes of this, but eh. 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 But beautiful dinner. Nice broccoli, chicken alfredo. We're super excited. <laughs> We are. An absolutely beautiful morning once again in Thailand. Although putting the dinghy down right now, I did just uh, smash my nose with the uh, handle. So we'll have to see <laughs> the next time you look at me. Big puppy black. <laughs> Matt doesn't know he was talking on the phone with his mom. Um, but today we are going waterfall hunting. We're at, I believe it's the Ho Chang. We're headed off to the Klong Chow waterfall, which the pictures just make look amazing, kind of like a tiered waterfall with a big pool at the bottom. I think we're here at the right time of year that it should be flowing well. So we're going to hop in the dinghy, zip up the river, and uh, we're going to go Tarzan style jumping, right? I can't show that because it's all dirty. We'll go around this way. Still dirty. Still dirty. We're gonna go jumping off waterfalls. I'm gonna throw her off. <laughs> He's so sweet. Yeah, so sweet. It's not like I didn't just break my nose this morning, but you know, you're gonna throw me off a waterfall. Well, too. I don't see evidence of this yet. Yes. So once I see some evidence, then I'll, then I'll believe it. So dinghy's down, bags are packed, swimsuits are on. Yay! We're ready to go. Let's do this. Sunglasses, my dear. boat started paddling so we're going to paddle too. It still looks steep here but as Matt said if they stop their engine there must be a reason why. <laughs> and I should probably help. No. A little romantic like, gondola ride for me. It's more like Washington crossing the Delaware. <laughs> They're probably laughing at you. They probably are. Nothing wrong with getting a little extra workout in today. What is it? Definitely not sure if we're supposed to be off the dinghy now and hiking or what? I think so. Oh, look at that <laughs> Oh. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to tie up here and walk the rest. We'll soon find out. Dinghy adventure. Uh, apparently we had taken a wrong turn. We're not supposed to follow like the full wide river up. We're supposed to detour off. <laughs> well. We're saying that now, well, we actually have no idea. We still don't know if we're right. Uh, but it, we know like going up to the end of the river, you get out to where the stream actually comes out, but there's no good walking path and we didn't want to walk through the jungle because there's poisonous snakes and other things around here. Venomous. Venomous snakes. And we found another smaller part of the river that goes in further. Uh, I might want us to just stay to starboard a little bit that we think leads up to a restaurant where we there tied the dinghy off and we're at a fork on the road right now actually so I'm gonna have to get out the phone and look to see where we're supposed to be going because we are still just 100% completely lost. Uh, I think that way but I'll check. Okay hold on. Not there.
once you get past the questionable turns, it's really not so bad, but as Matt said, wouldn't it suck if the tide went out and left us uh, stranded up here? Not an area I'm gonna walk through, really. It reminds me of the, uh, like, Man versus Wild, not the Bear Girls one was, like the Les Stroud. I don't know. It reminds me of those Discovery Channel shows, like where they just drop you in a jungle and make you survive. I feel so like I need an airboat. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Everglades tour. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. But it is very, very pretty back here. So I'm thinking that this waterfall is going to be gorgeous. The whole thing's going to be worth it. We'll be so happy that we did this. A oh, log in the water. Yeah, it's a little hot. It's a little off. flooded. Yeah. It is quite hot and sweaty out here, so I think we're both ready for a refreshing dip. Um, who knows, maybe we'll try the Tarzan swing if we can get it back to shore. Because <laughs> right now it's just like sitting all the way out. And it's a pretty tall tree to climb to bring the rope back in. But if you can see just the sweat running down my face, hot and humid day. We're gonna go for a swim and go stand under a waterfall. Hey, underwater, I'm falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter. I got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me. No matter how far it goes, not deeping under. That was a lot of fun. That was very refreshing. <laughs> well worth the trip. Great spot to spend a full afternoon if you packed like a cooler with some snacks and drinks. For us it was just a quick run, a little dip, a swing, and now we get to head back. Plus I haven't eaten. I know I feel like I say this in all my videos, but it's lunchtime and I am starving. <laughs> Always. So. so far we're finding that Kokud slash Kokut is an amazing island, especially for cruisers. Very beach friendly, water friendly, gorgeous. You need to find that thesaurus. It's worth coming to. Need to know you said you fall with me. No matter how deep it goes. With my head underwater. A big thanks to Island Spirit Yacht Charters for hooking us up with this Island Spirit 380 for our time in the Ko Chong area. 